guys, and welcome to Trucking Along with Kiersey. That's me, your positive voice in trucking. Today I wanna to talk about that 70 hour clock because apparently it confuses people. The recap concept confuses people. So I hope that I'm gonna be able to um, shed some light on how that works. I have a really cool explanation for it that I know the women are gonna understand. So hopefully the men will get it too. <laughs> so stick it around. <laughs> So guys, if you've been watching me for a while, I want to say thank you very much for your support, liking and sharing and commenting. I really appreciate it. If you're new, please consider subscribing. And as always, please check out my links below because I did open a merch store with 15% off for a limited time. I have stuff down on Amazon links down there and there are some really awesome channels down below for you to check out. So down to the nitty gritty. <laughs> The easiest way to explain the 70 hour first off what you need to know about the 70 hour clock is it's not a seven day week it's an eight day week and when people understand that they go oh because that's really like eight and a half nine hours a day yes it's not you know some horrible evil you know clock like people think second thing to understand is and this is where the women come in. Imagine it as a credit card. Yep, seriously. Okay. Imagine you have a $70 credit limit. And as you spend, your available credit is going down. That's what happens when you use on duty drive time, which is your normal drive or on duty not driving, which are things like fueling, pre-trip inspection, having an officer DOT inspection, when you check in at customers, if you're on the road, on the side of the road, waiting for a tow truck, um, that should be on duty. So we have a lot of different variations of on duty and you should ask your company what their policy is, what they require for you to be on duty and how long that they require because some places have different things. Like I have a friend who drove tanker hazmat. He was required by his company to be on duty at all times during loading. He got paid for that on duty time. He also was not allowed to use his phone. He had to turn his phone off while he was getting loaded and unloaded. So why is that on duty time important? It's important because it's limiting how much on duty time you can use for the entire week. So as my friend was on duty, but not driving for loading and unloading, he did not have that time available later in the week to drive. So if he sat there on duty for one hour, he lost an hour on his 70 hour clock, meaning that he had one less hour that week to drive. So back to the credit card scenario. You have a 70 hour, a $70 credit limit. Every day that you drive and use on duty, you are spending against that credit limit which means your available credit is going down. So if you drive and use on-duty time of 10 hours the first day, your available credit limit would be $60. Follow me? Okay. So as the week goes on, you're basically reducing your available credit every day. Just like a credit card, you basically make payments back in order to get 70 hour clock back to build up that time back. So how do you do that? Number one, easiest way to do it, you take a 34 hour break. If you take a 34 hour break, it refills your full 70 hour clock so you will have 70 hours to start your new week. So the second way to make payments against your 70 clock. 
think about your minimum payments. Like when you pay your credit card, you can pay the whole balance off, right? Which is basically how you, what you do when you get a 34, you're paying your whole balance off. So now you have the full 70 as available credit. If you were gonna make a minimum payment, staying with the credit card theme, what we get as a minimum payment is what we refer to as recaps. You're recapturing the time from your first day last week. So the first day of my eight days, what I used last week is what I get back at midnight tonight, okay? And it'll be midnight whatever time zone your company is in. So when we say we're running on recaps, that's what we do. A lot of people try to stick to using eight and a half to nine hours every day of combined driving and on duty time. The reason they do that is so that they have an even amount coming back every night. I hate that. I hate running on recaps. I don't want to because in reefer that's harder to do so usually what happens is if i'm really running hard when i get to my end of my week i don't have eight or nine hours coming back sometimes i'll have four or five you know and if i have four or five that's four or five that i have for a whole 24 hour period and so then it's like okay well in order to get hours back past midnight I'm gonna have to start driving. I get four hours on my clock right now. So if I start driving at eight o'clock at night, so that's four hours from eight o'clock till midnight. And then at midnight, I have recaps coming back, which is what I drove eight days ago comes back tonight at midnight. And it's midnight according to the time zone your company is in. So at Prime, we're based out of Missouri. So that central time, but if you're with Swift, you'd be based out of Arizona. So you'd go according to that time zone. Make sure you know what your company headquarters time zone is. That's really gonna be important in time management. Make sure you understand how to read the um, on duty time that's coming back. My Qualcomm has something that will tell me coming back tonight at midnight and it'll tell me how many hours and then below that it says coming back tomorrow at midnight so i can see always and even if you go to um there's one screen that shows you how many miles you drove throughout the week and how many hours you used each day that will give you information on when to expect hours to be coming back as your recaps. To replenish your 70 hour clock entirely, you take a 34 hour break. To make a minimum payment towards that, that 70 hour balance, that 70 hour clock, you use recaps, which is what you drove and used on duty non-driving time eight days ago. Comes back at midnight according to what time zone your company is in. Did I confuse you? <laughs> See, I had to relate it to a credit card for me to get it. But let me know down below, do you like running on recaps or do you prefer 34s? Um, if your company has a policy on 34s, I know Prime sort of says they don't like company drivers doing 34 hour breaks, but it happens. So um, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the little notification bell, and I hope to see you out here truck, truck, trucking along. Bye. <laughs>